What's up YouTube? Back with another video. And this video is about my RU unit that I finally got. I know I've talked about it in the past videos to help with the melding of the crypts because my water parameters kept changing and every time the city you know flushed the pipes out during the session between going from spring to winter and winter to spring. So I finally got it. I just got the simple four stage unit. I didn't need anything more because I don't have salt water. It's just for fresh water to get my TDS to zero. So I can add my own using a um, mineralizer and just have pure water for top off. Um, I just got it from Bulk Resupply. I ordered it and it came in three or four days. And the setup I got was, you know, you, you want to have a piece of wood on your wall. And as you can see where I marked it, those are the, the studs that I screwed the, that plank of wood to. And I do that to make it easy to put this guy on because you got two brackets here and here, and they might not line up with the studs in your house, depending on what year it was built or whatnot. I believe they're usually 16 inches apart from stud to stud, but you never know. So if you put a piece of wood up like this, you can add more accessories like I have here to hang this up. Or you can add another one on top if you want to have more stages to your, your unit. And I have mine connected to um, the water supply for my washing machine. I know this is this is a weird setup. But I couldn't find anything at the local Lowe's or Home Depot that was long enough to get past this trim. Because if I, if I didn't have this set up, um, this part, this, this Y connector was rubbing against the trim. And it was leaking because I couldn't get it tight enough. So that's my setup for now until I can find something that's, that looks better. Um, it's not leaking. So I mean, it works, it works. But... You never know, somebody might bump into a washing machine and hit that, come loose. But, oh, and yeah, um, you might want to get a, a Y connector if possible. You don't have to, but you get one with a, a shut off valve. That way you can shut, you know, water off to the unit if, uh, if you need to. Um, my water coming in to the house isn't very, um, high on minerals or not it's like mm, eight less than ten usually you stabilize around four three so and I get zero of course um, my water pressure isn't very high right now it's full my container so because it's full um, the uh, PSI goes up but usually it's at 40 let's see if we can uh, drain get that down a bit uh, not moving so I just got to um, push the float valve down here in, um, in this 44 gallon trash can that I got from Lowe's I'm gonna open it up and show you so this is all my pure water R water zero TDS I just used this to Top off the fish tank. Um, you know, give it to the pets for water, or use it for the carnivorous plants I got. And if you push down on this, all right. So now, now it's you see the pressure went down. That was held up. So now it's draining all the water from the you know the black line. So when you have it. This valve, you got this pressure release valve here. It just bypassed the the blue, so water isn't going down in here, which it wouldn't because I have it set to where it stopped at that level. But if it was, it just bypass it and drain it. And usually I do this if water's been sitting in there for a while, because when you start it up. The TDS will, will be pretty high. I don't know if the camera can see it, but it says 45. It's normally never around 45. 
during the normal operation when I'm filling it up it's around three four and I think that's just because water's been sitting in here collecting minerals so I usually flush it um, for like two three minutes but that's why it's important to also have you know the shutoff valve to supply water to your RO unit if you're not if you know it's not gonna be and use to shut off water towards it. So, and that right there was sitting water to this guy. And if I push down on it, water comes up. And if you get this set up, make sure you get a float valve, but not any float valve. You want to get a float valve that has this wing net, the adjustable float valve, so you can uh, set your water height. Oh, okay, got pet hair in here so you can set the height um, how you want so you can have to fill up more or less and another thing I learned the hard way is I flooded my, my floor I had water everywhere because back here there's this guy this plastic everything's plastic and I, th I figured you know finger tight will be will be good enough nope Put a wrench on it, put some vice grips on it, tighten that baby up. Because if you don't, the water pressure is going to start to shoot water out. And I woke up in the morning and my whole washing area floor was soaked. So that's something you want to want to make sure you take care of and double check when you set this thing up. And if you get a can, get one with a top on it. You don't want stuff falling from the ceiling. If you got a cat, you don't want the cat get up here, jump in there. So, well, yeah, just a quick video. Finally got it. I'm finally happy. I've been topping off the aquarium. I had to evaporate to get water out. Um, I just get like a five gallon bucket on the floor and I get a hose and start the suction. Just flip the bucket and travel to the fish tank around the corner over there and fill it up. So, I don't have to worry about, you know, getting tap water from the sink, containing chemicals or whatever it is. So hopefully the four stage is enough to get that stuff out. So I'm not losing any more fish, not losing any more crips. I like crips and, and that's it. So this is just that video I wanted to add to the channel. I haven't made one in a while. So thanks for watching.